Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Ah, uh, damn, I done goofed it up again. I messed this whole game up. So we're going to have to do some changes. And as usual, I'm sorry, but we're going to have to do some changes. So first of all, I just want to show you what I've done. Uh, if I go ahead and compare with unmodified in the enemy spawner.cpp file, what I did was basically just added, if you can see how it was before, there weren't any sp um, blank spaces here between, right? And that was a wrong kind of error thing. So I just went ahead and I added, you can just check out the code directly. If you want, you can go to GitHub and just get the code so you don't um, accidentally do something goof it up even more um, but there you go I don't mean that in a bad way but you know what I mean uh, so just go ahead and add these and then once that's done let's go check out the other file uh, the other file is the H file I don't remember what I did here I did something I added virtual after here yeah I did you don't have to do that if you don't want I just I, I didn't figure out what the problem was until recently so that's why I did that am I even recording dude yes I am okay hopefully you can hear me um, so I added a kind of a printout thing here just to the get a string function because I, I was wondering why the enemy spawner get a string wasn't calling. But you remember, if you remember, we got a little crash in the last video and I'll explain why that happened. But it was because of that. So this is how it looks now. OK, so I added these things here. I'm not sure if we did this in the video, but just go ahead and check this out. It should be in this order type everything should be in this order uh, and then yeah this is how it looked before so basically I just initialized it with zeros that's all I did uh, once that's done shouldn't be any more changes anywhere I think nope okay so the issue is guys and girls is that when we are this is fine right this is fine this is just loading stuff is fine uh, the problem is right here where we're saving so this get as string function is actually not is actually not I can remove this now by the way uh, is not being called for the enemy spawner it is being called for tile it is being called for enemy spawner as well but the problem is our uh, tiles the base classes get a string is being called even though it's overshadowed in enemy spawner but the problem is that this is a tile pointer so it's kind of using its own it should go in and check enemy spawners but I don't know why it's not doing that I think I'm just dumb and I've kind of forgotten my base C++. So I'm going to have to go back and kind of refresh. That happens. See, when you're coding stuff, you, you forget all basic stuff. And I'm going to need a refresher course in inheritance. But anyways, so, and then when we load it, we're trying to load stuff for enemy spawner. And we're kind of loading in things here. And we're loading in stuff that isn't there. So we're grabbing stuff that is actually meant for the regular tile later. And the input file uh, thing here. The input here is being pushed forward and when it's trying to get the next X and Y for the other tile, this is going to have goofed everything up and it's all going to crash. So that's why that's happening. Basically the way to fix that I think is to make tile uh, pure virtual. So that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to make a new class here. We're going to make a new class called a regular tile, regular tile and we're going to just go ahead and do that and we're gonna give tile as a thing here and then just say okay now regular tile is going to be just like tile in almost every way I'm gonna have to put regular tile into tile and the source regular tile into tile as well here and yeah I got a comment in the past few videos somewhere that I uh, the, if asking me basically if I know that this isn't a real file and I, I do know and yeah thanks for pointing that out anyway uh, what you probably want to do is have real files in your base folder kind of separating everything up but I just use it here in Visual Studio I don't really care that much but yeah if you want to do that you can go ahead and, and make your own folders and stuff um, but that's what's up now we do have tile here I'm just going to copy this. I'm basically going to copy the whole thing. All right. I'm just going to copy the whole thing. I don't even care anymore. Um, 
and I'm gonna paste it right below. I'm not gonna copy over everything. Paste it right below. Uh, regular tile, regular tile, my dudes and grills. Also, while I'm doing this, um, I just want to say <clears throat> thanks for all the support on all the other videos, on my vlog videos and stuff. Because I really, really enjoy making those. That's like my most favorite thing in the world. Even more than coding nowadays because, you know, cinematography and stuff is so new to me. I really enjoy it. And I was just glad seeing all the support. So I just want to thank you guys and say that you're awesome and amazing. In every, every way possible. Conceivable by man. Alright, you guys are incredibly beautiful. I don't say it enough. Um, but you are. Each and every one of you is just perfect in every way. Uh, so there you go. Protected right here. Now I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. What is going on? Uh, I'm probably going to remove the collision variable from. Uh, from. I can remove that now. That now. Uh, from the regular or the base class tile. All right. So I'm going to. We're going to have to work on this. It's going to take a few videos. But I'm going to try to be slow and try to understand that you guys might not just, you know. Uh, follow on every every single little thing all the time so I'm gonna try to be a little slow so here we go I'm just putting all the parameters in the to the regular tile I'm just gonna do the same thing here that's all I'm doing all right that's all I'm doing uh, once that's done we're gonna keep on moving keep on moving we're gonna get all of these functions and everything and just put them in here in the regular tile area here I should have control X though so I know what I'm doing I'm just going to put them in public. Whoopsie days. Okay, so once you do that, um, you can, if you want, you can keep keep that if you want. Uh, so there we go. Mm, okay, I just got a little message. Doesn't matter. So there we go. Once that's done, I can remove the tile class thing. And just make sure all of these are here. I could, if I wanted to, remove this 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 and I'll keep get collision update render we'll keep that get type uh, might not need get type either okay that's good that's good that's step one all right now comes the part of this stuff right here uh, control X this collision part from the regular this tile <laughs> and this is going to be tough. And then we'll go into the regular tile here. And what we're going to have to do is we're going to call tiles constructor in here, all right? And let's just go ahead and check this out. So what does tile want? It wants just about everything. I'm going to remove collision from the regular tile. Okay, completely. This stuff here. Because collision is going to be part of tile itself. The other regular tile, <laughs> basically. Uh, I'm going to set get type, I'm going to keep that, get collision, I'm going to remove get collision, okay, get position, get global bounds, intersects, get a string, I'm going to set that to equal to zero, update equal to zero, and render equal to zero. So now this is a pure virtual class, and abstract class, sorry, and we're good. That's pretty much what I want to do. These other things are defined, and they're going to stay defined. Uh, I'm going to grab this get collision. Control exit from the original tile and just put it sneakily in here. Okay. Functions. Uh, and just say regular tile get collision. Okay. Since we have that there, I'm going to have to define get a string. Okay. And someone, somebody told me a nice way to do this, but I just don't remember. I'm going to have to check that out again. Uh, please, if you're listening, Tell me again in the comment section how you did that because I don't remember where you commented it and I would like to know. And I'm too lazy to Google it myself. And with that, I mean when you define, auto-define stuff, how to go to the file, save and go to the file. Like what button? I think it was some F button something. I'm not sure. Something like that. Uh, anyway, how did I define enemy thing here, enemy render here? Update, didn't really do anything in update. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this whole thing and put it in the regular tile version. And then go ahead in here again. Copy this. 
control X the entire thing actually we don't need the get a string here okay go over get type okay yeah we don't need update or render either now okay and then once that's done we did control X that whole thing and oh no what did I do I need to put it in here and get a string I'm just gonna paste this because this is what I want to do I want to kind of give it all, everything up until collision okay so our regular tile is gonna do that um, and then update collision return this collision pretty sure that's what that was Yeah, okay. Uh, it does have intersects in it. Right? Intersects. Yeah, intersects. Okay. So that is good. We would like to have that in tile. I could put that in regular tile, but if I have intersects there, it kind of... It gives that to all other tiles. So that's, that's a good thing. Um, in case other tiles want to have collision. Now, when I think about it, maybe I should have kept collision in... In case some other tile would like collision. Ah, ah, I'm sorry, guys. I'm very sorry. We're going back. We're reverting. We're reverting. Okay, this is already there. Okay, just do that. You know, it's nothing, nothing special. Just do that. Uh, collision. Okay, just go ahead and do that. No, then we're gonna need this here. Okay, all right. So I just removed that. And. Tile H. Okay, we do have collision still here. Regular tile H. I'm going to just remove protected from here. Collision. Get collision. I'm going to put that in tile H again. Back. Just back to where it is, where it was. And then intersects here. Alright, and we're just going to copy this little accessor back to where it came from accessor okay so that's that's nice okay so we're back we're back to how we were collision collision um, uh, collision const pool collision false did I have that there? Let me see. Possible collision equals false. Maybe I should keep it there actually. Okay, collision. Not gonna give it any default value here. Okay, so you're getting collision here. Good. It's setting collision. This collision equals false. Just to kind of set it. And tile H. Sorry for going back and forth so much, but I'm just trying to figure figure everything out. So there we go. Okay, now we gotta put everything in here. So I'm just gonna say type uh, grid X grid Y uh, grid size F texture texture rect and then collision okay collision just like that okay so once that's done regular tile is pretty much a the original tile it's just it's divided up a little bit so so once that's done should be good to go collision blah 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 okay looks good Enemy spawner should actually be enemy spawner tile, but that's fine. We'll figure that out later. So once that's done, now everything is going to start complaining. Uh, now I got to include in tile map.h. Let's open that up. Let's open that bad boy up. Where are you? Tile map. Where are you? Here you are. Okay. Tile map.h. Tile include regular tile and I can just remove tile here now okay now we're gonna get to fixing <clears throat> regular tile oh wait what is this add tile 
Hmm. Interesting. Add tile. Oh, so it's just adding a regular tile here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hmm. That's interesting. You know, we're going to have to look into that. Anyway, uh, regular tile here. And then an enemy spawner. Okay, so once that's done, once that's done, we gotta check it out, check it, check it out, because editor mode, enemy editor mode, when we, we add a tile, we give it enemy spawner, okay, so that's probably also why it's bugging out, yeah, interesting. Okay, so what I was doing there is, oh shit, okay. Oh damn, maybe it did work. You know what, it's still good that we divided it up, you know what, doesn't matter. But, I understand what happened. Okay, I understand. Look, when we're adding a tile, even if our type is, uh, whatever our type is, we're still just adding a regular tile. So that's very interesting. So if type equals tile types um, default then else if type equals tile types enemy spawner then we're gonna add something else aha uh -huh, okay that might have been it enemy Spawner, okay, type, and then we're gonna have to get all of those things in as well. Mm hmm. All right, I see how it is. Okay, the so grid X, grid Y, grid X, grid Y. Uh, okay. Enemy spawner, and then where is that? Here. So I'm just gonna put this right on the side here. Okay, sorry for if this is a little claustrophobic, uh, but there you go. So we're it doesn't want type. It wants X Y. X Y grid size F texture texture rect. Or the actual texture. Tile sheet texture rect. Okay, tile sheet texture rect. Enemy type enemy amount time to spawn enemy max something. Okay, so and not collision. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give it zero 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 just for now so it doesn't complain. Okay, so it's not complaining now. That's good. That might have been the problem actually. Okay, I didn't notice that even. Alright, I see, I see. I see, okay, alright, so once that's done. Um enemy spawner. Okay. You know what? Let's just run this, see where all the errors are, and just try to fix them. There we go, there's an error. Okay. Where are you, my errors? Okay. Regular type redefinition of default. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so here it is. Alright, let's see. Editor. Let's add a tile. Let's just save that and load that. Save and load, save and load. Works. If I run a new game, I do have that tile here, so that's working. Um, editor. Let's load that in again. And let's add a enemy spawner, save that in, load that in, uh, quit, new game. I do have an enemy spawner here. Looking nice. Okay, so at least that's working, guys. I'm sorry for that, all that problem. Uh, just try to run it. And it should be fine. Okay, so any other issues we'll be having, I'll fix in the next video, okay? And thanks for sticking with me. And sorry for the slow video, as always. Take care, good luck, keep working hard. Drop a like, subscribe if you can. And just really thanks you guys for all the support, alright? See you guys and girls in the next one. Bye-bye.